Hello Colonet Africa Online students, welcome to our ninth lesson in this topic of salts. We are going to further discuss about the action of heat on salts. In this case, we shall look at the action of heat on nitrates. What is the effect of heat on nitrates? Let's look at the procedure of our experiment 4.12. Heat about half a spatula of potassium nitrate in a boiling tube. Observe the color of the gas or the gases evolved and test using moist rhythmus paper. That is both the blue and the red rhythmus paper. They must be moist. Insert a growing sprint into the test tube. For the hydrated nitrates, do not test for the gases until all the water of pressurization is driven off. Record your observation as shown in table 4.7. Repeat the experiment using nitrates of sodium, calcium, zinc, red, and copper. This is our table 4.7. So you have the nitrates and the observation. Make sure that you record all the observation. The observation involving the gases that are being produced, you test using a growing sprint, you test using the red and the blue rhythmus paper, they have to be moist, and also the color changes that accompany the solids that are produced, that is the residue solid that are obtained. In our discussion, when nitrates are heated, they decompose forming different products. Some nitrates produce a colorless gas which rekindles a growing sprint. That colorless gas that rekindles a growing sprint must be oxygen gas. Because remember in Form 1, when you're looking at uh, the preparation of oxygen, you found that the oxygen is tested by introducing a growing sprint and since oxygen supports combustion you're going to find that it is going to rekindle a growing sprint. Others produce a red brown gas that is nitrogen for oxide gas which is a red brown gas and another which rekindles a growing sprint and that is oxygen gas. Sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate melt to form colorless liquid. They melt because they may have water of crystallization within the structure and therefore they dissolve in the water of crystallization and after dissolving in the water of crystallization they form a solution and once you continue heating that solution you're going to find that you uh, drive or uh, you drove uh, you drive off the water that is melted and you're going to be remain with sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate once you continue heating then sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate decomposes to give uh, sodium nitrate potassium nitrate and oxygen respectively on further heating the soil decompose forming the nitrate and oxygen. Sodium nitrate heat, you get sodium nitrate plus oxygen gas. That is the chemical equation. This is the sodium nitrate and the oxygen gas. The oxygen gas uh, relates a growing sprint. Then the sodium nitrate cannot uh, decompose further. It's very stable uh, compound and therefore it cannot be able to uh, decompose further. Potassium nitrate, similarly you get potassium nitrate plus oxygen gas. Ammonium nitrate melts to form a colorless liquid which decomposes to form nitrogen 1 oxide and water. Ammonium nitrate decomposes to form nitrogen 1 oxide plus steam and this is the nitrogen 1 oxide Remember, this is very unstable. If you introduce a growing sprint, 
that heat in the growing splint is able to decompose this one to give nitrogen and oxygen gas and that oxygen gas rewrites the growing splint and that's why in the presence of nitrogen one oxide if you introduce a growing splint it is gonna rewrite and the rewrite occurs as a result of the oxygen that is obtained once nitrogen one oxide uh, decomposes to oxygen and nitrogen. The nitrates of calcium, zinc, reed and copper decomposes on heating to form the metal oxide, nitrogen 4 oxide which is a blood brown gas and oxygen gas which rekindles a growing sprint. These are the equations. We have calcium nitrate. If you heat you get calcium oxide which is a white solid plus nitrogen 4 oxide which is a brown gas and oxygen gas. So you can be able to tell this ox uh, gas by the color because it is the only gas that has a brown uh, color. Then zinc nitrate will give us uh, the same zinc oxide, a brown gas which is nitrogen 4 oxide and oxygen gas. Remember zinc when hot it is yellow and when it is cold it is white. The zinc oxide is yellow when hot and white when cold. Then red nitrate you get similarly the nitrogen 4 oxide, the oxygen gas and red 2 oxide. Red 2 oxide is orange when hot and yellow when cold. It's normally orange when hot and yellow when cold. It's the red nitrate is white. <laughs> then we have copper 2 nitrate. If you heat copper 2 nitrate you get a copper 2 oxide plus nitrogen 4 oxide plus oxygen gas. This is blue in color but copper 2 oxide is black and nitrogen 4 oxide is brown gas. Then let's look at the decomposition of nitrate. The general equation for the decomposition of nitrates is shown below. That's the general equation. You have metal nitrate, metal oxide, nitrogen 4 oxide and oxygen gas. Then the nitrates of silver and mercury decomposes to give nitrogen 4 oxide, oxygen gas and the corresponding metal. In this case you don't get a metal oxide but the metal or the element itself. This is the equation for the decomposition of silver nitrate. You get silver metal plus nitrogen 4 oxide which is a red brown gas and oxygen gas. Mercury you get a mercury nitrogen 4 oxide gas and oxygen gas once you decompose mercury to nitrate. The general equation for the decomposition of this nitrate is shown below. We have metal nitrate to get the metal nitrogen 4 oxide and oxygen gas. The ease with which the metal nitrate decomposes, decomposes on heating increases down the reactivity series of metals and that brings us all nitrate decompose on heating sorry and that brings us to the end of our ninth lesson. So we have the question to tackle, the assignment 9 on the action which tests on the action of heat on nitrates. It sees or it checks how well you are able to comprehend the concept in that uh, lesson. Once you finish do, uh, doing the questions you can use uh, the word document accompanying this video to uh, mark for yourself. Bye.